Splash Mountain left an indelible mark in the memories of many Disney park enthusiasts, some of whom found it difficult to let go. I mean, people were trying to sell water, self-proclaimed, huge Disney fan. Dee Dee Frankie recalled of the iconic ride's final day of operation at Walt Disney World. I had this little memory of people putting Splash Mountain stuffed animals in front of them. Save Splash Mountain shirts, the last Splash shirts. Francique chose not to ride that day, but she has ridden countless times. As a child, I knew nothing. I didn't care, he said. But after learning about the roots of this ride in Disney's Song of the South, he's felt different over the years. At the time, I was very suspicious of that. The ride closed at Disney World in January and is set to close at Disneyland later this year, so some Disney fans are ready for a reboot as Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Song of the South is problematic from the start, said literary scientist Maria Tatar, a Harvard professor who co-authored African American Folklore Annotated with Henry Louis Gates Jr. Magnolias and Moonlight Although set in the post-Civil War plantation era, she said, it feels like slavery, looks like slavery, and sang by black workers as they returned from the fields. I've been working on some groundbreaking work, but it's never been published and it's kind of romanticized. 